Hello everyone, today I wanted to uh, review uh, this uh, Light My Fire Titanium Spork. Uh, I've had it for a couple years. I actually keep one in my travel bag and uh, one in my, uh, in my go bag. The uh, reason why I keep it for traveling is uh, traveling overseas. Uh, sometimes it's a 26-hour uh, door-to-door venture and uh, utensils that they're giving me on the plane or at certain restaurants, especially in these countries that are suspect uh, layovers. Uh, it's nice to be able to reach in there and know that I have, uh, you know, something that I can trust. Uh, seems trivial, but, uh, you know, once you're on these uh, lengthy uh, travels, uh, you know, every little thing uh, helps to uh, aid the situation. All right, so uh, keeping that in mind, uh, nothing too sexy, all right? It uh, can be used as a uh, spoon and used as a fork. Uh, reason why I like titanium, there's other uh, inexpensive or, or less expensive uh, versions out there of sporks, but they're made of plastic, uh, and even though they're BPA-free, uh, as you know, every day they're finding uh, new toxic uh, chemicals that uh, Im impede our health or harm us. Uh, so just because it's BPA-free doesn't mean that there's not a uh, thousand other toxic chemicals in there that are uh, not going to really uh, help your cause. All right, so having something that's titanium, it's a big deal. I mean, we focus on preparedness all the time, but what's you know what's a bitter, a bigger factor than your actual health? Uh, if you're not healthy, you're not going to be able to uh, be too much of a team player, and you're certainly not going to be a leader. So we want to keep that in mind. We don't want to uh, focus on nutrition uh, like we do with our uh, natural training center members. And uh, we buy nice, clean food and then end up using these toxic utensils made of plastic or, uh, or aluminum and, uh, you know, putting them in your food. And, uh, you know, now you're uh, everything that you just bought and spent the extra money on to eat clean, uh, you know, just basically went to shit because uh, you're using uh, toxic products to uh, prepare that food with. So keep that in mind, uh, something we often overlook. And if you are prepared and have this in the field with you, you're gonna use it. Uh, those of you know, when we get hungry, when we're in the field, we are hungry, all right? So, uh, you know, a lot of times uh, we don't even have time to wait for the food to fully cook, uh, let alone uh, worry about which uh, utensil we're gonna use. We're gonna reach for whatever's closest. So if you do prepare uh, while you're in a non-stressful situation or where you're not starving, um, by having this in your pack, uh, you're, uh, you know, half the battle's won right there. So the spork is uh, lightweight, uh, 0.7 ounces, all right, so weight is definitely not a factor. Uh, what I also like about it is that it's coated here, all right, so your food isn't going to have that metallic taste uh, that you would have with uh, stainless steel, uh, aluminum, all right, so they actually took that into, uh, into account, and, uh, you know, that's very good. Uh, you know, something that I definitely appreciate because uh, if I spend time preparing food, especially when I have the time in a camping situation, I want to be able to taste my food, um, you know, not some other metal uh, aftertaste. All right, it does have a, a little serrated edge here, uh, pretty pretty much uh, good to uh, to cut butter, all right? But uh, there is something there for, you know, your beans or whatever the case may be, but, uh, you know, that shouldn't be a factor because, once again, it's a spork, uh, not a knife. And, uh, you know, a knife is uh, something that I'm sure... All of us have several on us when uh, we're in a field. All right, so keeping that in mind. The other thing is the uh, the way that it conducts heat. A lot of times with stainless steel when I'm out there and, uh, you know, when we're building fires and all that, it's not like you're really uh, controlling the temperature that well at times. And you go in there in a hasty situation and, you know, all of a sudden your stainless steel fork or spoon is on fire and you can't even hold it. So this is a much better uh, conductor as far as repelling the heat, uh, for lack of uh, a better uh, terminology, uh, the layperson's uh, terminology, so to speak. Uh, the other thing is uh, comparable to home. All right, so this is a fork that we would use at home. You could tell there's actually more real estate, but size-wise, perfect for fitting in a can of beans, uh, perfect for uh, uh, my canteen cup. All right, so, uh, you know, once again, might be a little bit shorter for those backpacking uh, meal ready to eat uh, type pouches that are, that are super long, but uh, that's not something that I consume. Uh, so I'm not really worried about that factor, but maybe something you want to address if you do go out in the field uh, with those type of, uh, of uh, food packagings or, or prepared meals. <clears throat> Same thing with the uh, the spoon aspect. All right, you actually have more real estate on here on the uh, the spork than you do on a uh, regular spoon that I have in my kitchen. All right, so you're taking a little bit of home with you, uh, which also uh, aids in any survival or preparedness situation. So as I mentioned, I travel with this a lot, keep it in my uh, travel pack. And uh, so I would definitely say it's TSA approved, never been questioned on it. Uh, can it be used as a uh, weapon in a pinch? I mean, you tell me, it's uh, titanium. With some sharp edges right so uh the rest of you guys could uh, fill in the, the blanks on that it's also a little uh, textured here uh, especially with the uh, the recessed printing uh, which definitely aids if uh, your hands are wet uh, if uh, you have gloves on all right all these uh, little trivial things that we're bringing up there in a the review but they're trivial now because we're nice and comfortable in front of our computers when we are out in the field in certain situations you know how how uh, how much of a difference 
uh, these little uh, nuances can make. And the last thing I really want to talk about this spork is its uh, simplistic design. Uh, there are other uh, titanium forks out there that I've tried that actually have extenders and other little mechanisms where they fold. I mean, it's all cool and great, but as far as longevity, I'll end up keeping this fork forever, right? So whatever you spend on it, uh, 15 bucks, whatever, less than 20 bucks, seems expensive. But if you're going to have this for a lifetime, rather than buying five or six uh, ones that are basically are probably going to fail you in a field because they are inexpensive or one of the other downfalls that I mentioned during this review, uh, you're actually going to end up spending more buying five or six of those over a lifetime and never having something that's, uh, that you have uh, credibility with, all right, so to speak. So the simple design, uh, less chance of it failing in a field, uh, that's you know what we're kind of looking for, right? Put it in the pack and forget. All right, that's my review on the Light My Fire Titanium Spork. If you uh, think that it's something that would fill a void in your preparedness, in your uh, go bag, or in your survival kit, I uh, definitely suggest you uh, picking one of these up. Hope you enjoyed the review.